When I first started out, I was wasting so much time with the wrong Webflow apps, but now I have seven apps I always use in every single Webflow project. We'll go from tools that help save you a ton of time on design all the way down to CMS magic. So stay tuned for that one. So the first one that saves me a ton of time is going to be in the Webflow app store. Just one of the first ones here is going to be the Reloom site builder import. Now with Reloom, I'm sure you guys already know about it and I've done a ton of videos on them already, but Reloom allows you to create number one sitemaps with AI and have the wireframes already be imported into your project. So you're basically building the bare bones of a site in under a few minutes. Now I'm going to go through the installation just once so you guys understand how to do it. But you basically click on install and this is my personal account here, but you want to select the project that you want to go on. So Ross Design Academy, that's the Academy site. We click on that and then you'll see that the app is installed on the left panel of your project there. So with that being done, we have this panel here that allows us to take a look at their component library, class sync, SVG icon converter. We'll take a look at another one of those later. Spacing strategy, preferences, and then links to the most popular ones. So for example, we can visit the sitemap generator there, or we can just go back and take a look at the Figma library, the Realm Ipsum, the icons, all the other stuff that they've got going on. So it's an amazing app and a lot of people use this. So you're not going to be alone when you try out for the first time. And that leads us to the next app, which is going to be Outseta. Now Outseta is an app that I've used a lot in my own projects. It allows me to have an entire CRM login sign up password recovery, all that you need for a very simple no code app. It's what I actually use in my own SaaS library for Webflow called tilebit.io. It's what I actually have here and it's run using Outseta. So if we click down on product, we'll see that there's payments, there is CRM email, so we can send in different emails, we can track conversions, we can set up a help desk, all this stuff, which is able to be set up directly inside of Webflow. Now we can see here in the Outseta app page that we have a lot of the capabilities directly inside of Webflow. So we can embed the signup form, the login, all that. So we don't actually have to go all the way into the app to take a look at the most basic stuff. So that saves us a lot of time now that Webflow has actually removed the membership capability natively inside of Webflow. So Outseta is my preferred way of doing that. There's also some other ones like MemberStack, but I prefer to use something like Outseta. That actually leads us on to the next one, which is once you created your website, it's actually super critical to start to track, number one, if people are coming in, how they're coming in, from what search terms, all these super relevant things. SEO is gonna be a critical part of your business. And with this Google Sites tool, we can do that directly inside of Webflow. So that's amazing. We have all the capabilities of the Google Search Console, directly within Webflow. So we can see the most basic stuff of analytics here. And this is good because Webflow has their own analytics thing that you can pay for. But this is free as far as I know. So we can actually go ahead and see the website here, go ahead and install that. And we can see how many people are coming in for the website that we have. So now we can go ahead and launch the Google site tools. And then we can see some pretty basic analytics for the website that we have here, but we can filter by different search dates, by terms, and all of that stuff that you can do inside of Google Search Console as well. So this is a great addition. Next up is SVG import by Flowcraft. So with this, you can basically paste any SVG code directly inside of Webflow. And what that does is that it kind of gets rid of all of the headaches when it comes to adding SVG code inside of the canvas itself. And this tool is basically the easiest way of adding any SVG code into Webflow. So imagine you're in Figma and you want to export an SVG icon or something along the lines of that. You can go ahead and use this tool and it'll paste it in and convert it into a path so that it's easy for you to be able to click it, edit it, and just do everything that you'd want to do to the actual SVG without a headache. So this tool saves you a ton of time when you're adding in SVGs, like for example, from Figma, you can paste it in directly and it gets rid of all that headache of trying to manage how to actually import the SVG, how to edit it, if you wanna bind it to different CMS items and change the attributes and blah, 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 blah. All that stuff is handled with this app. So that is an amazing addition to Webflow. Then comes FlowDrive. In my opinion, this is an amazing app. What it does is it basically allows you to upload and host your own files instead of using the Webflow file management thing. Let's take a look at their landing page here that has a very nice colorway. I love 
orange, white, and black. But this basically allows you to have all the images and items inside of your Webflow project without necessarily relying on the Webflow ecosystem. So you can basically host your own files with this tool and then you can integrate it directly within Webflow. And this site basically explains everything that you need to know when it comes to this integration. And it has very simple pricing, $20 a month to be able to host all of your different apps. It's a simply fantastic example. Another great thing about this is that you obviously have a lot more control over how to use these images. So you can upload music, videos, all you want inside of your own hosting domain, and then just connect it with Webflow and have that be appearing on the site. So you don't necessarily need to rely on Webflow itself to host those images and assets. Then comes one of the all time greatest apps, which is going to be the FinSuite app. Now, FinSuite has their own style guide, their own library, their own everything. But I think one of the best things about FinSuite is their components app. So this components app allows you to add in some pretty advanced things to your app without using too much of a fuss. Just a couple of clicks, like for example, this consent banner, the cookie banner, you can add in tables, you can add in a lot of more advanced things directly into your app without really having to worry about it. So here's some examples of what you can add we can add in a slider and then change the amount of slides that we have in the app. Again, the cook and consent, the marquee. So we can add in the speed of the marquee, how many items inside. Like I said, the table, this one's free. I use it all the time. And then a number count. So they have a pretty robust library coming as well. And obviously I use the FinSuite attributes all the time. I also use the client first system. So it's impossible not to mention FinSuite when it comes to the top Webflow apps. It's just one of the most important and critical apps that I think all people using Webflow should be doing. There's a lot of different design systems and style guides for Webflow, but in my opinion, FinSuite is one of the more universally loved ones. So if you don't know about it, this is your time to start learning because it's one of the more in-demand skills to know if you're trying to become a Webflow developer. Lastly, before I forget, we have JetBoost. JetBoost is similar to the FinSuite library and their functionalities. You can basically add in more to Webflow via simple integrations. So this is an example of what they give you. You can add in filter, search, and save to your project. So this is great if you have a job board, a library of sorts. Imagine if you have an e-commerce where you're trying to filter and search different types of cars or products of any kind. This is how you would do that. So JetBoost allows you to have that extra integration without a lot of hassle. You can also add in these, these maps and then you can connect it via the filters, of course. But let's see what else we can do here. One of the main things is going to be the filtering and the searching. And we actually tried to use JetBoost for Tilebit before we went over to FinSuite, but it's an amazing tool regardless. And we can see that Unicorn Factory uses them and I covered them in a previous video, but we can see that there's a lot of different functionalities to add here. We have, if we go into products, we also have the CMS map, which is new, which is super cool. And it adds in this cool functionality where you have all these different locations. So if you're a burger shop, for example, then you can type in all the different locations that you have. And it's a pretty nice feature to have for your users without going too crazy. Here we also have a live demo of the search tools, but I'm going to leave a link to all of these in description so you guys can take a look at all the functionalities. And I recommend that you install all of them, just play around with it. Most of these are free to a large extent, so go crazy. But anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.